Hello everyone and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we are back with a figure that I have been waiting for for a considerable amount of time since we first saw the pictures of it. Thanks to our friends at Bluefin Brands, we are taking a look at the Storm Collectibles Injustice Gods Among Us Ares figure. Uh, for those who have been following the channel and listening to the pod for a while now, you'll know that my favorite figure of 2020 was the Storm Collectibles Injustice Gods Among Us Bane figure. Um, and this series has a bunch of bangers in it, but I am most excited for Ares here. Um, as you could see on the box, we get really great art there for Injustice Gods Among Us. We get Ares, um, of course, you know, on the sides, the same thing. On the back, we get the nice details of all of the things that we come with here. Multiple face sculpts, multiple weapons, hands. Uh, it's just this figure has looked incredible. Um, and some of the early shots that we've seen of it from people like D Amazing. Um, so I cannot wait to get this guy in the light box and take a closer look at him. So uh, let's do that. Ready? Let's take a look at the Injustice Gods Among Us, Ares. All right, folks, and here we have Ares out of the package, and this figure is gorgeous. Um, the detail on it, the accessories, we're gonna get into all of it. We're gonna jump straight in. So before we actually get into the figure himself, let's talk a little bit about the accessories that he comes with. So um, you can see he is holding a giant sword and a giant ax. Um, both of those accessories are gorgeously detailed. Um, they have, they have uh, really great paint apps across them from the way that the handles are painted. Uh, so that way they actually look like they're some sort of metal or, or, um, or, or bronze. Um, depending on you know the different parts of, of the uh, the weapons, um, gorgeous gorgeous amount of detail on them. They're made out of a nice hard plastic, so you're not going to have any kind of warping or bendy weapons. But at the same time, um, as hard as they are, they are light. Um, it really strikes this balance between something that feels sturdy, but something that isn't going to wear on the joints of the figure, um, but also doesn't feel fragile or weak. It is, it is really cleverly done, um, and as you can see, he's holding both of those uh, weapons without problem. Um, the other, one of the other accessories that he comes with, he is, he is currently wearing. Um, that is his, his helmet here, um, a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Um, if you're at all familiar with, uh, with the way Storm Collectibles kind of does their thing, um, you know, it, it's a nice combination of soft materials and hard materials. So it does, uh, affix to his head very well, but at the same time, um, you know, because it is a softer plastic, it's not going to, uh, wear on the skull or the, the, the head, head sculpt at all. Um, the next uh, accessories, while we're talking about the head, uh, you get two additional head sculpts here. So uh, the first uh, one is uh, just a more of a screaming uh, head. Um, again, really great detail for a simple uh, head sculpt. There is uh, a lot of like red shading around the eyes to really kind of convey that anger. The teeth are well sculpted and painted. Um, you know, the face does kind of hide behind that giant mask, but it's enough of a, a subtle change to, you know, really kind of change the expression of your, your Aries here. Um, and then the other one is a more neutral head. So, uh, just a neutral head sculpt. Um, again, this figure is really kind of, uh, encapsulating the, uh, you know, the way that the character does look in the video game. Cause again, this is modeled after Injustice Gods Among Us. Um, outside of the two additional head sculpts, you do get a series of hands. So outside of the two um, grabby hands that he has uh, on currently, uh, you do get two fists, two additional fists. Um, all of the hands have the gauntlet piece uh, attached to them. Um, and when it does plug in, it works really nicely, as you can see, um, you know, connecting to that, uh, that piece on his, uh, his forearm. Um, outside of those hands, you get two flat hands. 
So, you know, blocking or just kind of outstretched hands. Again, really de great detail across these. They're painted really, really well. Um, the, the paint apps are wonderful on them. The little, uh, you know, differences in um, the matte and uh, metallic paint on the hands really makes it kind of look like he does have gauntlets on. And then you get two um, more open grippy hands. So we'll say these are, you know, these are, these are claw hands. Um, so let's get into the actual figure here himself. Uh, so starting off uh, with with the first thing that I think you can kind of see is you get this really nice cloth goods cape um, that's wired. So it does have a wire running through it, um, you know, which which really can you know help you kind of achieve those frozen in motion poses. Um, the cape is nice and heavy. It has a nice kind of um, velvety, maybe velour type feel to it. Um, it drapes on him really, really well. Uh, it looks nice and billowy. It, it's, it, it's, it's well done. Uh, I'm gonna remove the weapons here so that way we can talk about articulation. So let's get these two guys out of here. This giant sword is the beast. Um, so and we'll uh, we'll take his helmet off too for a moment. So uh, you know the paint and detail across the figure is fantastic. Again, if you are at all familiar with um, with Storm Collectibles figures, they use a really great combination of soft, very very malleable, almost rubber like um, plastic in certain places. So like the uh, the spikes on his arm, you're not going to have um, puncture wounds from these. They are pretty soft. Uh, same, same goes with his shoulder guards. His entire, uh, torso piece, um, hides the, the articulation inside, and we'll get to that in a minute, um, down to kind of his loin, loincloth, uh, cod piece area, the flaps in the back. Uh, all of this is non-removable, um, but it is soft, so it, the, the idea is that it is not going to hinder your, um, your motion. Moving down the legs, um, we do have uh, additionally more detailing. You know, you can see his boots here. He has these really cool um, claws at the end of it. Again, you know, this plastic is a little bit harder than the rest of it, but you know, again, varying degrees of softness and hardness, um, hardness throughout the plastic. Uh, let's get into the articulation. So um, Aries head articulation, um, he does have a rubberized neck in there that is hiding some of the joints, but you can see he can look up pretty, pretty good. And then he can uh, look down about that much. And um, he is, when you move the head, you know, you are moving part of the, the upper torso too. You can actually see kind of the arms go with it. So there is quite a bit of, of movement there, um, even though you can't see any joints, which is great. So the arm, uh, as you can see, is not hindered by the the rubber shoulder pad at all. Um, there is a butterfly joint in there. Um, kind of tough to see with all of the regalia, but it is in there. Um, you know, so he does have that uh, that uh, ball joint or the, that uh, butterfly joint in there. So his arms do go back um, pretty far, as you can see. Uh, as you can see there, they do get uh, eventually they are stopped by his his back piece. Um, we do have a bicep swivel in there. Um, we have a nice double jointed elbow, uh, due to the sculpting of his, uh, his gauntlet piece here. That's about as far as you're going to get that elbow to bend, but, uh, it is a nice double jointed elbow. Um, and then you get the ball joint at the hand. So you get your, uh, swivel and pivot there. Um, moving down into his, uh, his torso, there is an ab crunch in there. And if you feel for it, you can actually get quite a, quite a good bend out of him in the middle. Um, you know, not not a nothing nothing to sneeze at there. You know, it's, it's quite a bit of movement for as much stuff is on there. And then same goes for for backwards. Um, I think you can actually make the argument that he can go much farther back than he could go forward. Um, the legs. Uh, so same thing, uh, you know, we have those, those ball joints we're used to seeing on, on, uh, Storm Collectibles figures. We have the, the soft kind of inner piece there underneath the loincloth. So, um, Aries can kick out about that far and then he can kick back about that far. Um, we do have a double jointed knee and Aries gets quite a bit of movement out of that knee, almost all the way back there. And then, uh, and then lastly, down to the foot, we do have the uh swivel and uh and pivot and then our toe articulation um so just to show you real quick you know in terms of uh you know swapping out these these pieces on these figures so real quick 
just show you uh we'll do a quick head swap so we'll take off the grimacing head and let's put on the screaming head really easy it goes right on you know no no issues there and then of course the the helmet goes on after it so uh let's take a quick look at how Ares scales with uh some other figures so there he is next to uh the McFarlane Gal Gadot Snyderverse whatever you want to call it uh Wonder Woman um and I think that scale actually works really well um you know, Ares kind of varies in size. He is a god after all. Um, but I think the two of them uh, actually look really nice together. I, I can't wait to take some additional photos of the two of them. Um, the other character I think of when I think of Ares, um, you know, not from the same universe, of course, but I think of Kratos uh, and, the, and, you know, the, the God of War series. And here he is next to the NECA uh, uh, God of War figure, and I think this works perfectly as well. Um, this is going to be fun taking photos of the two of them, um, duking it out. Uh, I think I think that works really really well. Um, you know, these Storm Collectibles figures tend to be on the, the larger side of things, so you know that seven inch scale is definitely more where you want to exist with these. And then I think, last but not least, of course, we can't talk about an Injustice Gods Among Us figure without showing. What I, what I think to be the best uh, Injustice Gods Among Us figure that they've made so far. Here he is, the big boy, my favorite figure from last year. Um, here he is with Bane. So his Storm Collectibles partner in crime there. Um, another another uh, entrant into the, the video game DC-verse. Um, th this is a fantastic figure. Fantastic detail, fantastic articulation, great accessory set. Um, really nice movement. Can't wait to take more photos of it. Let's flip it around and let's wrap this up. So here he is. <laughs> I mean, this is another just awesome figure from the folks at Storm Collectible. I can't get over the size of the sword and the fact that his joints are tight enough to hold it. I just love it. Um, yeah, so this guy is incredible. Um, another, another home run. Uh, and, and, and frankly, you know, like we mentioned while he was in the light box, if you're if you're a Mythic Legions fan, um, if you're just a DC fan and you're looking for a really good Ares figure, I mean, this guy is just he's he's just so good. He's so good. Um, but yeah, uh, you can you can pick up this guy as of the recording of this video. Uh, he is still available on Amazon. We'll include a link to him below. Um, thanks again to our friends at Bluefin Brands for sending this guy out to take a look at. Um, he is fantastic. Uh, as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there so that way you don't miss videos like this where we take deeper dives into the toys that we love. Uh, while you're down there, hit that notification icon so that way you get uh, notifications when we post new videos. While you're subscribing to things, make sure you follow us here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter, where we're constantly posting toy news, toy photography, all the other good stuff that's going on within the toy community. And lastly, the podcast, So Adventures in Collecting, where it all started. We're live with a new episode every Monday. Uh, you can find us wherever you find podcasts or simply click the link in the description below and it will take you to our website and you can find links to all the things that I just mentioned. Stay tuned after the transition for some additional photos here of areas with some other figures. And as always, until next time.